everyone, Steve Elliott here again, back with 712 things to draw. Uh, this is also a review, just had Christmas, all my friends and family know that I'm mad into art and a real nice friend of mine bought me this Bortoletti glass dipping pen. Uh, it looks absolutely stunning, the nib detaches so if you break that delicate piece of glass you can just buy the new nib, pops in there really easy. She also bought me this stand for it to sit on. Looks really cool on my desk. And this is the ink that came with the pen, the Bortoletti ink. So I thought I would use it with 712 things to draw. And I could do a test of it and a review. The thing that I had to draw was um, some boxes. So I thought, right, okay, I can just do some straight lines, some matching, and real put this pen through a test. What I expected was to uh, dip the pen in the ink and start drawing and get really thin lines because the nib is so thin and very even lines, uh, almost like using uh, a lining pen, but it didn't work out like that at all, not at all. The first thing I did, I used the Bottoletti ink. This pen, by the way, it comes from Italy. It's made in Italy. It says on the uh, little bit of paper that comes with it, what is in your hand is unique, entirely unmade in Venice, exclusively in our laboratory. So the ink and the pen come from Italy. And I tried the ink and I dipped it in. And I thought, oh, that's way too thin. It's just going to drip off the nib so I put it away and I use some Windsor and Newton black ink which seemed a lot more dense than this Bortoletti ink so then the first few lines that I put on there nothing came off the pen it was just no, nothing would draw whatsoever and I tried spinning it and dipping it in again and and then eventually I did get it to draw. Um, it, you can see there it's it's it was very it miss. Sometimes I would get half a dozen lines drawn, and then it would run out, and I dip it again, and I couldn't get it to draw very well at all. Then I discovered if I tilted it at a separate at a certain angle, it would draw nice, and it wasn't even the the when you first dipped in the ink, it was very very. Uh, well what not very thick but much thicker than as the ink was running out and it blotch you can see i've got some really ugly blotches on there so in the end i cleaned the brush sorry i cleaned the pen uh wiped the nib clean and then went back to the proper bortoletti ink and uh, i'm so glad i did and i discovered that if i was to just add a bit of scrap paper there and draw on the scrap paper first, the ink would start to flow. I could then go on to my uh, inking in and it would work. And you can see now I've swapped over onto the proper ink and I'm having much better results. It's drawing really nice. Uh, so it was a bit of um, a bit difficult to start with. Once I got into it, I really enjoyed it. If anybody out there has got some tips how to use these pens, uh, please write in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear from you because um, I'm not sure if I'm using it right, but I did have a lot of fun with it and I'm definitely going to be using it again. I loved it a lot, although it was not as easy to use as I thought it was going to be. So that's my thoughts on the Bortoletti glass dipping pen and a sketch of some pretty crappy boxes. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have, a big thumbs up as always, always helps me out a lot. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, I've got lots of videos, mostly about digital painting, but uh, as you can see, some traditional work as well. So hopefully I'll see you in the next one, bye.